7 o'clock in the morning, fixing to head down for breakfast and to start the conference. The view this morning from our balcony. So peaceful and beautiful. My camera fogged up due to the humidity here, so everything's blurry. Here I am heading to the conference, checking out, making sure I don't look unpresentable. Now we're in the video. Are we in the video? Because I like to do them. Okay. So we finished our breakfast and the conference for the day, and we're heading out to go see the Key West Aquarium, uh, the Shipwreck Museum, and maybe Truman's Little White House here on the island. Who knows what all we're getting into today, so we're heading out. And shockingly, I have a mask that perfectly matches my red and white shirt. And this is a deep sea roly-poly. They live about 4,000 feet under the water and can go four years without eating. They eat the deadfall of big fish like whales that fall to the bottom of the ocean. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? The deep sea roly-poly. The octopus is playing with one of the plastic toys that they have here. Isn't this fun? I just love seahorses. I think they're the coolest creatures on the planet. Right up there with unicorns. A cute little eel poking his head out, checking out his surroundings. Who's out there? Hello. This is a bright, colorful little thing. Pretty little fish. Another pretty tank with some colorful little fish in it. these kind of fish several times in our home aquarium. It makes me want to spend some money and get it going and looking pretty again. So pretty. Little clownfish. Hi Nemo. American alligators about one year old. Florida has become infested with Burmese pythons. 
It can swallow a 12 foot alligator whole. After being hit by a car, losing an eye and breaking a wing, he can't fly. Hello, little buddy. sharks waiting to be fed. Shipwreck Museum, here's some of the treasure. Isaac Allerton work. They had champagne. And medicine. Interesting. Check out the ingredients, 12 parts petroleum, one part of ammonia, and one part brandy. The jars containing the mustard caused the scavengers to actually go blind temporarily. The coral grew really pretty on the end of this bottle. Thought it was really cute. This was a drain hole on a ship that a sailor had shoved a bottle of rum into. And here are fenders made of rope. One of the shipwrecks was full of musical instruments. Every household became very musical with pianos, violins, and different types of horns.
nice of you from the top of the lookout tower at the Shipwreck Museum. We ate at Garbo's Grill for lunch. We had the Landon Colreason hamburger. It was applewood bacon with chipotle gouda and Korean barbecue. Check out this really cool tree. Fish tacos at the beach grill unfortunately had almost no flavor. Fries were good though. And Rick's lobster BLT sliders. Keith said they were delicious. Good evening, it's October 31st, Halloween, and uh, it's our second full day in Key West, and I've got some hairs that are sticking really strangely up on top of my head. But here's a quick recap of what we did today and our day. We got up at six o'clock, went down for our conference, checked in at seven, had breakfast, and did our classes. And then we decided to explore this area of Key West and checked out the Mallory Square kind of area. Uh, we went to the aquarium, um, one of the best uh, talks about the, the ecosystem and the animals or the fish that we were being taught about and the reptiles. Uh, the marine biologist that gave the, the instructions was excellent. As I said, one of the best I've ever uh, had. Then, that hair is driving me crazy, guys. Anyway, um, after we did that, we went to the shipwreck museum and uh, saw how the shipwrecks that used to happen here in Key West occurred. Um, at one point, they were having several a week. Isn't that crazy? Just imagine the amount of um, ships that wrecked. And the wreckers, the salvagers, got to keep the uh, treasures they found. So, quite interesting. <clears throat> After we did that, we decided we wanted to go to lunch. And I had researched on Travelocity. Uh, different places in TripAdvisor, different places to go eat here in town that had good reviews. So we had read um, that Garbo's Grill was really good. 
So we walked the mile and a half to Garbo's Grill to find out that they were closed for deep cleaning for COVID. And so we turned around and pretty much walked right back to where we were and ate at, um, oh no, we weren't gonna go to Garbo's Grill first. We were going to DJ's Crab Shack and it was closed. So then we went to Garbo's Grill and had a fantastic burger and uh, it had a Korean barbecue on it and bacon and it was um, chipotle uh, gouda cheese on it. It was really, really good. After that, we decided to go see the Truman Little White House and did a tour of that. I don't really have any pictures of that. They said due to the fact that it used to be a presidential uh, residence. Out of respect for that, we could not do any pictures. After we did the White House, we went and got us some ice cream. Rick got ice cream and I got a shaved ice, pretending we were little kids. Then we came back up to the room and kind of relaxed and rested for a while, took some showers, cleaned up. Then we decided we wanted to go for our supper and we had supper at the Beach Barn Grill at Pier, the Pier Water Resort here just about um, half a mile away. Uh, it was a really nice little meal. I had fish tacos and Rick had lobster BLT sliders and he'd really been wanting some of those ever since he'd read about them. Um, then we kind of walked around, uh, saw a guy doing fire sticks and watch the ocean for a while and came back up to the room. So that's pretty much a recap of our day.